Hello and welcome to the Creative Kobold. A couple of days before Christmas, I received my Kingpin of Dunkeldorf Kickstarter pledge. The Dunkeldorf line of miniatures are made by King Games in Denmark and are high quality townsfolk minis. I made a video back in August when they sent me a box of miniatures for a bit of a preview, and I immediately fell in love with this line. Now I've been quite busy, but have been wanting to start painting these minis, and today's the day. I was able to get all the minis from the newest Kickstarter, and also those from the first Kickstarter. I'll have to get the minis from the second Kickstarter later. But for now, I have a lot of minis to choose from. To make the choice easier, I've already decided to choose one from the newest Kickstarter, the Kingpin of Dunkeldorf. So I'm looking through and seeing which minis feels right today. Eventually, I'm down to three minis. Ranginhill the Mutant is a rough and cool looking character that would be great for a tiefling. Emmerich the Hunter has got some very interesting details and textures that could be fun to work with. But eventually I end up choosing Claudia Schwartz. There's just something about her attitude that speaks to me. Alright, first things first, removing some mold lines. They really aren't that visible though, and it's almost unnecessary. But I do it nonetheless. I want this mini to be the best it can be. I've already washed her with some dish soap water to get rid of any mold release. Then I gave her a coat of primer using black and white Citadel spray primer for a rather soft zenithal effect, and I let that dry properly. Also, I received a full set of these nice ghost brushes from a good friend, and they're going to come in handy. Thank you, Stina. Okay, on with the painting. I start by painting the slaughter bar black, as I don't want that distracting me, and continue with black on the shoes. Next, I give the trousers a dark brown base color. It takes a couple of thin coats. The vest is the same, a couple of thin coats of dark red for the base. Now for the skin. I'll be giving her a light skin tone, and I start with a dark red as a base. Neck, head and hands are all being painted. I'm using a light skin tone set by AK for this. I continue working on the skin, just building up through the shades. Always keeping light direction in mind, I paint the skin tones in a way that accentuates the shapes of her face. For this miniature, the light direction is basically just a soft top-down light, which is great for any miniature you'll use in games.
I also add a couple of thin coats of white to those eyes. Next, I add highlights to the vest and trousers, still taking light direction into account. A black base coat for the hair, just like the boots. I think having the same dark color on the top and bottom of the miniature will help tie the entire mini together, almost like a frame. Adding some creases on her forehead and around the mouth using highlight and shadow skin tones to give her a bit of maturity. This is very careful work, with very thin paints, but the results are worth it. Let's not forget the highlights on that ear. Now let's add some eyebrows. I think there are some light eyebrows in the sculpt, but I can't see them properly right now, perhaps due to several layers of paint. But I just paint some I think emphasizes her personality. Also adding some eyelashes and pupils at this point. I have to keep my hands very steady for this. If I accidentally paint outside the eye, I can always fix that afterwards, no problem. Alright, so I'm starting to highlight the hair. Highlighting black can be difficult. I've chosen a shade of blue for this and I'm just following the streaks of hair.
When done, I add some black wash to tone it down a bit, as it did get a bit too bright. For the shirt sleeves, I started with an off-white creamy color as the base. I then use pure white for the highlights, leaving the base color as shadow. Next, I start working on accessories and details. I base coat most of this black before adding other colors. Belts are black, quiver is a brown-gray, crossbow is brown. Start adding lighter tones to the crossbow, where the light would hit. Then I start freehanding some wood grain with an even lighter color. This is really easy, because wood grain is basically just squiggly lines. Next, I add some white accents to the lines on that vest, gradually going to darker grey where the shadows are.
buttons get a bit of metallic silver paint on them, as do the metal parts of the crossbow. belt buckles and brazers get a metallic brass color. Also tone the metallic paints down with a bit of black wash, as they're not supposed to steal much attention. Then I just work my way through accentuating the remaining details and doing some cleanup work. And this is the final result, Claudia Schwartz in her full glory. I base the color a bit on what little you can see in this official Kingpin of Dunkeldorf painting, though it leaves a lot of room for interpretation. There are many aspects here I'm happy with, but most of all I like how her face turned out. I think it's the best face I've painted, and some of that is definitely due to the great sculpt but also just taking my time with it and enjoying the process. I also think I managed to work with and add to the confidence and sassiness she exudes through her posture. And here you can see all the paints I used for this miniature. It's mainly Reaper brand paints, which I find very easy to use, and then the AK set of light skin tone paints, as mentioned earlier. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's my first painting video and I did have some trouble with the lighting, uh, so I hope you'll excuse that. It'll definitely be better in the next one. So remember to like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell, all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next video.